Hi, welcome to Just Off The Highway. I'm El Progers. A while back, I did an episode featuring Slup Chips, South Africa's take on French fries, similar but massively superior. And today we'll again feature our famous floppy potato sticks, but this time in a supporting role, because the star of the show is another iconic local fast food, the Kota. A korta is a quarter loaf of fresh white bread, hence the name, korta, hollowed out, filled with slup chips, stew, curry, cheese, egg, poloni, chicken, basically any comfort food that you can imagine, often all together at the same time. Different cultures have added their favorite ingredients, so we add relishes like achar or chakalaka and meat from the bride. Or you can go in the opposite direction and order vegetarian or even vegan quarters. In a very real sense, it's like the ultimate Rainbow Nation sandwich. The only rule is that the filling of the quarter has to almost overflow the brim. The bread absorbs the sauce and the gravy, making it a bit more portable. You see, it's a street food that started out as takeaway energy for someone who works hard and needs a solid nosh. It's messy, it's yummy. Local legend says that the quarter was invented in Soweto in the late 50s. So, who am I to disagree? But people from the townships in Pretoria also call the same thing a spatlo. And there are other names too. Living in Cape Town, I wasn't familiar with those names at all. We called our local versions a Gatsby or a Bunny Chow. And the origin of the name Bunny Chow is itself a story. Google tells me that the bunny comes from Durban, where the name given to shopkeepers of Indian descent was Banyaman. So the slang term for food is chow, so the food from the Banyaman became the chow from the bunny man, which was shortened to Bunnyman chow or bunny chow. It's now a widely used term in all South African languages, including Afrikaans. But everybody knows what you're talking about when you ask for a quarter. There are now quarter festivals and franchises with gourmet ingredients, all excellent. So as a beginner, I wanted to discover a variety. So I started at a place that I know makes my favorite slut chips and caters to a whole range of customers, Gregory's in Linden. So Sean, what kind of quarters do you recommend? So our most popular is definitely our beef, beef shoe quarter, um, quarter chips, cheese, poloni, acha, and then our, our most popular uh, chips, cheese, ration with, with fried egg on it, and then they normally put like a chili sauce, our homemade chili sauce. Okay, that sounds brilliant. We'll take three of each. With pleasure. They also serve a wide range of quarters and bunny chows. In my opinion, their food, hard to beat. So can you tell me, uh, do you like quarters as well? Yes, I like potatoes. And, and what's your favorite? My favorite is chips, cheese and ration. I'm a specialist in milk potatoes. I hadn't heard of a Sputnik till I spoke to Sean about quarters. Now I've got to try one of those as well. So I've only just heard about a Sputnik. What goes into those? A lot of hard work, <laughs> definitely. Um, first and foremost, uh, we take a Vienna sausage and that gives it the shape. We make mashed potato, we add a bit of um, white pepper just to give it a different like, flavor to the actual mash and then they actually baste it around the Vienna, which gives it the shape of a Sputnik. We have variants where we add a slice of cheese on the Vienna, a slice of ham and cheese, 
still with the mashed potato and then we deep fry it in our secret batter. It's creamy, it's soft, it's, it's just a whole bunch of loveliness. It's really, really good. Breakfast of Champions. Sputnik has got to be the best name in South African fast food. Is it because it's like a little satellite going around the quarter? Or because it tastes heavenly? Or that one bite puts you in orbit? I suspect because like the Soviet spacecraft, it's got a little Russian inside. Somebody has to pay for all this delicious food. So a huge thank you to Cornet and his team at Idea Saints for sponsoring this part of Just Off The Highway today. So you may be wondering who's going to eat it all. I happen to know some people who deserve a treat. I'm taking this food to the headquarters of Meals on Wheels, Johannesburg Food Distribution Services in Yeovil. The people who work there distribute food to the homeless and hungry in the area. They work tirelessly all year round to feed those who are in dire need. So I figured that it's in keeping with that spirit that food should bring some happiness and that it should be shared. I happen to know that the people who work at this Meals on Wheels have been preparing and distributing food from early this morning. By the time I get there, they'll be reaching the end of the line with the soup kitchen and most of them will be feeling exhausted and hungry themselves. So I'm taking these meals for them to try. It's a small gesture of acknowledgement and appreciation for what they do. Would I be able to? Just stretch out my mouth. All right, Papa. Ready. Your favorite quarter? A beef burger, petty quarter. My favorite one is a Russian egg and chips with bit of acha. That's my favorite. That's close to this, but with more with maybe like a nutritional kind of like maybe a cucumber or lettuce or something on that line. I'm from Durban, I'm from Reservoirs. Me, I was brought up with bunny chows. My dad used to make it at home. We used to have the sugar bean bunny, mm -hmm. and we should have the chicken curry, and the lamb curry was the favorite, mm -hmm. the most favorite one. The gravy has to ooze out. And the melting yes. And the so salads, the salads. They mustn't be shy on the salads. They must just give us enough salads. You don't need no fork or a knife or spoon. You just do it with your fingers. Mm -hmm. yes. The way of making the quarter is once you've cut it out, you put your achi in, your cheese and all your flat things first and whatever. Then you add your chips, then you put another piece of bologna and everything on top of that. Then you put your Russian or your Vianney in, a little bit of cheese on top and take a little piece of bread, put it back on top and then you must just bite. Quarter and then with small peas in minced meat, then it's nice. Hmm, there'll be Russian, bit of acha, egg, bit of melted cheese, eh? mustard, that's it. Not much more than it. Mm. I would like to know, especially from the people who speak Isuzumi, okay. about other names for quarter. Speak. Some of us, we call it spatlo. Yeah. Okay, and what does spatlo mean? Mm. It, it's up to you what you want to mix, but you just mix everything together, then you call it spatlo. I think it's Isuzulu Skambani. Have you heard that for? Skambani. Yeah, for, for, for quarter? Skambani is like kind of like a uh, takeaway thing. Just buy, you don't wait. Yeah. Pile chips and pile on whatever. Skambani. Yeah. Just, you know, you just go. Skambani. Like, like take and go. In Kosa, how do you say it? Okay, it's Songa. It's not Kambani. The, the feeling, we call it Kambani. Whatever feeling that you. The stuffing that you, you put in there, we call it umtrimbi. It can be minced, we call it umtrimbi. And then the bread, it is isonga. In the SN Cape, we only had two kinds of quotas, only, only two. Uh, they'll, um, they'll take a pilchard and mash it, and then they'll put raw onion, chopped raw onion, 
uh, finely and then you mix it together, you put it in your quarter, that's your stuffing and it was famous by then. And the other one, it was mince. You cook your mince with a little bit of potatoes, you put your spices in and then you, you do your quarter. There's a difference between a, a, a township quarter and a, a quarter from the suburb and the suburbs. We're using um, these see-through bags in the township. You don't have to serve it on a plate. You have to eat it from that plastic. Press it down inside the plastic and you just help yourself. Christopher Jones, director of Meals on Wheels Johannesburg, took a moment to explain the process of feeding needy people. It's always been five days a week. The soup and bread is um, Monday to Wednesday. And then other food distribution is the other days. It's always been the policy that uh, people come to us, we're not going to turn them away, particularly if they are needy. We are fortunate, as, as the food comes in, we just simply distribute it. God is present, it's there. Certainly provides the most amazing way. He pointed out the necessity of a place where people can get more than food. This is a healing, you know, it is a, it's a get better kind of uh, environment for people. There's some rough stuff out there. In many occasions that we have helped um, individuals. It doesn't matter what uh, religion you look at, they say, uh, be kind, or love your neighbor, or do the best you can for people who are in need. And that is basically what we do. We follow that because a world without what we are doing here would, you know, that it's, it's, it is necessary. Day-to-day -day operations are very much a team effort. The team has developed. We've got a good, strong team at the moment. Because we have such a worthwhile purpose, I would say, as you've seen, they're excited, they are happy, they are doing the work well, I must say, that is our strength, the team is our strength, and we keep doing the job. That's what gives us the, you know, the drive to actually keep going, because we know we're doing something that's needed. Of course, such an organization really needs support from the public. We are concerned about the financial you know, situation um, in order to carry out the operations. So if I can ask for any support, would like that and the, the website will give all the information for that, which is fairly substantial in explaining what our history is and what we do. The Kota has become such an integral part of the South African scene that you can now get it even in the northern suburbs, like Roasty's Roadhouse. So it's a wrap, or should I say it's a quarter, for the whole episode and thanks again to Meals on Wheels. It's time to get some lunch of our own. On our way, I stopped at a small shop that makes authentic street food, the Purple House Cafe. And this is where you can get the genuine experience. Hello. Hi. I'd like to order a quarter, please. For how much, my darling? 35. 35. All right, you got it. We got a uh, different type of 35. Which one do you want? You may check on the menu. One with uh, chips and bologna and Russian and sauce. Yes, I just only add uh, barbecue sauce and chip sauce. Thank you. Thank you, you got it. So thanks again to Christopher Jones and the team at Meals on Wheels, Sean and his people at Gregory's, Chef Lerato at the Purple House Cafe, and Idea Saints for footing the food bill. Life's like a quarter. You never know what's going into it, but it'll turn out delicious. I think.
think I've fallen in love. 